Alright, I got my 67 Bear Grizzly out here, man. Let me try a moving shot with it. It's Saturday, beautiful evening, but uh, I usually don't go on the weekend much. Not a lot of public, so the public can get pretty busy. I'll wait closer to week. Keep peeing all over. I don't even know if you can tell. It blew right through, but I can get the water coming out so you know it did. It is blowing right through. She pissing right through. It just blew right through. Actually, I think it might have. It blew through one of them. Uh, anyway, that's my 67 Bear Grizzly. I uh, Fred Bear all the way on it. The vintage bow, and I use vintage arrows, and I got me a. Uh, Use the Fred Bear razor heads with no bleeders. They don't float any, they fly real good like your practice tip. 1132 shaft. They're 50, uh, 55 spine arrows. And uh, the bow's 43 pounds at 28, but about 29 inches. My draw is 30, and about 29, 29 and a half will start to stack. So I get 52 pounds out of a 43 pound recurve. My tip is, um, on weekends, if you can let them go, let them go if you're out in public. Kind of rebanking the, through the week, but I used to do hunts. Beautiful evening, the moon is coming up. Uh, your does and fawns, you can bank on it. I mean, you can bank on it. You can bank on your moon phase on activeness. When you're going to be up feeding, moving around, you have a four hour window on your moon phase. You got your straight up peak when the moon is straight above the earth. And you got two hours before that and two hours after that giving you a four hour window of good movement good hunting for does and fawns uh, i used to use that and be on the off of it off of the peak to get my guys in so the does and fawns were laying down and i could sneak my guys in get them up in the stands without bumping into deer up moving around in the middle of the night stuff like that you could get them in early morning in those off peaks but uh then you get your, you know, your downside peak, moon straight around the earth, same deal. Two hours before, two hours after. But if you're just looking for does and fawns, play your peaks. Or if you want to kind of slip in, probably not bump into anything up, moving around feeding. Use your peaks, but don't go in on your peaks. Go in about an hour before your peaks come into play on that four-hour window. Anyway, just a, a little tip. Big bucks, so. though. Human pressure and uh, moon phase, moonlight. Um, took most of my big bucks first quarter or new moon. Didn't pay a whole lot of attention to uh, the peaks when it comes to big bucks. So anyway, no matter. Just a shot with my bear grizzly man. The weekend's here. I want to be out hunting, but uh, I'm just gonna sit tight, practice with my bear grizzly. And I'll go out Monday or Tuesday. I'll go through the week and get out there, see what happens. Anyway, take care, guys. Hope the tip helps. If you're looking for does, fawns, you're looking for some meat, play those peaks, man. I mean, it'll it'll up your odds. It's, it's a game of odds. You're just upping your odds by playing your peaks. you got a four-hour window. Anyway, I'm out of here later.